Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how you can convert your footage from the format that you get off your 5D or your 7D, whichever digital SLR it is you're using, to something more user friendly inside Final Cut. Here is a short clip shot on the 5D inside of Final Cut. If I hit play, you can see it plays fine, the quality is good, everything's kind of how it needs to be. And my Apple Intermediate Codec version equally looks identical. Now if I throw my H.264 onto my sequence, it's going to ask me if I want to match this uh, clip settings, which I'm going to say yes. Now initially, it looks fine, it plays okay, as you can see, but if I start doing things like trying to scrub through my footage, the refresh rate is really naff, quite laggy, and when you've got a lot of clips in there, it becomes quite hard to work with, and especially when we start messing around with our peaks, our opacity, or applying effects, or anything like that. I'm going to get my pen tool out and throw in a few points here and as you can see as soon as I start making any changes to my footage I need to render it out so I'm going to go Apple R render and every time I make a change to this throw in a new clip alter what I've done I have to re-render it and as you can see it's going to take quite a long time to get through a project from start to finish so I'm going to cancel this I'm now going to do the same thing with our Apple Intermediate codec so I'm going to go Apple N new project sequence 5 that's cool double click and get my Apple Intermediate codec onto my timeline. Same message will appear, I'm going to hit yes again. Now if you notice when I scrub through here it's a lot smoother, I can almost play it back in real time or slow it down, go faster, whichever I want to do. And when I get my pen tool out again and start throwing in some points you'll notice that I don't need to render because I'm using Apple Intermediate codec, a far more native codec for Final Cut and Apple respectively. So we're getting a tiny bit of lag when we're going out and in on our opacity, but nothing quite as bad as our H.264. So there's a brief kind of run through of what we're trying to aim to get to. So how are we going to do this? The main way I've been doing it is using MPEG Stream Clip. It's a free program available from squared5.com. Um, just go to the download page, choose your version, download and install. Really, really simple. And let's have a look how we do this. Then. So if we go to your finder, choose your clip okay so we've got the same clip that you saw in the final cut sequence I'm going to click and drag onto my squared 5 and as you can see the video has been put straight into the program all I need to do is file export to QuickTime and choose a codec that I want to export to now I've got a ton of codecs on here I'm going to go for Apple Intermediate Codec I usually use this one or Apple ProRes HQ or LT depending on what I'm working with but a safe bet all round Intermediate Codec I'm going to keep the size the same, keep the quality full. I don't need to deinterlace my video, it's another really handy feature of MPEG Stream Clip. If you're working with interlaced footage that you want to deinterlace, be it on a single clip or on a batch, obviously just check this switch and off you go. I don't need to interlace scaling or anything like that. I'm just going to go make movie and I'm going to choose a location. I'm going to go back to the same place, Golden Chords. I'm going to give it the same name, hit save. And as you can see, it encodes really, really quick compared to, say, Compressor or Final Cut, After Effects, or whatever it is you're using. Okay, so that's done. That's ready to be imported into Final Cut. And there we have it. It's in there. And it's all good to go. It's the same codec that I used on the previous clip. And as you can see, it's nice and smooth. One other thing that's worth knowing as well, if you've got a load of footage, so you want to do, I don't know, 20, 30, 100,000 clips that you want to convert from one codec to another, you can go list, batch list, add files, choose the files that you want to convert, so I'm going to use the same ones, go to my capture scratch, and I can do all of these. This was filmed on a Sony EX1, this clip was filmed on the 5D, I can still choose all of these clips click to batch, quick time movie and choose the destination folder I'm going to set it to transcode in the same folder hit select again I can go choose all my settings hit to batch uh, this is asking me to overwrite because I've already got the clips in there so I'm going to say overwrite 
Now that's done, all I have to do is hit go. I'm not going to do that because I've already converted my clips. But it's just a nice, quick and easy way to get your H.264 coded footage into something more user-friendly inside Final Cut. So I hope that's been of use. Let me know what you think. If there are any other suggestions, questions or comments, let me know and we'll see what we can do. Until next time, cheers.